All right, welcome back to Ugly Truck. Uh, today we're going to do something that we've never gotten to do before. We are going to be working on a LS swap that we did not swap. Somebody else did, okay? This guy got this thing back, um, and since he's gotten it back, it's on its third or fourth uh, accelerator pedal. Yeah. Okay? Yep. And it, it, it feels bad. I don't blame the guy. Uh, he really hasn't driven this truck just because of it, and that's what we're going to fix today, okay? Okay. So let's get started on it, all right? All righty. Okay. So how are we going to fix that pedal, all right? Uh, Emily, she'll send you a link to a pedal that we did a few months ago, right? Yep. And actually, it was this one. Yes. All right? And this is the non-adjustable type. This is the one that we did in the video. And surprise, surprise, we have not used it yet, okay? Yeah. Because we probably won't use it, really. Yeah. Unless maybe one of our own, because we could deal with it for as cheap as we are, okay? <laughs> and the reason we showed people this way uh, is because I showed them a way to do it to where it was adjustable, okay? So you could bolt this into your firewall. Yeah. And then you could tighten your nuts down, bend your pedal up, and then take it someplace and have it welded. Yes. Okay? Yep. Uh, not everybody has a welder, and when we're doing our videos, we try to remember that, and we try to give people solutions for not having a welder. So, that's the reason we do that. Yep. Okay? And, that, and, this, and this pedal does work fine the way we did it, but if you really want your brick or your accelerator pedal to feel nice, you use one of these. Yes. Okay? Uh, it is an adjustable pedal. Uh, this one's out of a 2005 Suburban. This is where the uh, adjuster goes in. It comes from a motor that is run off of a switch either on your door or on your dash. And uh, it makes that pedal uh, come either closer to you or further away, okay? Sweet. This one's adjusted all the way in right now, okay? So this is the actual pedal that we're going to put in this uh, 1985 C10, okay? Okay. Uh, the guy, we told him what he needed. He found it, bought it, brought it to us with the truck. Um, you can see that this screw is screwed out a bit. So that pedal is adjusted uh, towards the driver a ways, okay? Okay. So I'm go I took a cable off of a, a, a donor truck, okay? Okay. It's an eighth inch square on the end, and it, it fits into... Uh, that fitting right there, okay? Okay. And just to make it happen quick, I put it on a drill. And this is how it works, okay? Put the drill. So it's got to turn quite a few times to get it to move. That's how, you know, adjustable it is. Yeah. So I, I run them into the spot where it's all the way down, okay? And be careful when you get down to the bottom there. Okay. It's pretty much as far down as it goes, all right? Okay. Okay. So, I'll set that one off to the side. So, that's how I'm gonna uh, set this thing up when I put it in the truck. So that way, when I put it in there, I'll make sure that it bashes all the way to the floor. Th this is also the reason that we love these pedals is because it has a very low uh, throw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it feels real similar to what that 85 truck did, and it's got great uh, tension. Okay. Yeah. Where you yeah. push it on. It feels right. Yep. Okay. So then the way I'm going to do it, say you, say you get in it and then say you have somebody that drives the truck and they're shorter. Okay. Yeah. And they want that pedal to be just a little closer to them. You can always take that tool and stick it up in there and uh, move your pedal out towards you. Yeah. If you want it. So it yeah. gives you some adjustment, okay? So we're going to start by going and we'll take the pedal out of this truck, the one that's in it already, see what he was working with there. 
Uh, but this is a good time to mention uh, we are planning on giving this pedal away, so stay tuned for the details of that, okay? Yes. All right. So let's get the other pedal taken out. All righty. All right. All right. Okay. So this this thing's got a uh, a diesel, an OBS diesel pedal in it. Okay. Okay. I already have it unplugged. In order to do that, a couple of pins have to be switched around in that connector. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got this connector down already because I'm also going to put cruise control in this today. Ooh. But uh, I'll have to switch two pins around and then it'll plug right into that new uh, pedal that we've got. Okay. So let's try and get this pedal out. Oh, it's bolted into the um, stock spot. And I bet we're going to have to hold it from the outside somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, so this is... These are the diesel, OBS diesel pedals okay. that the people talk about. Yeah, that's definitely something that we've had a lot of comments about. Yep. And we had said that we had never tried one, but this is a good reason why we'd never tried one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, when I, I measured from the brake pedal over to the accelerator pedal, mm -hmm. four and a half inches. A original pedal, two inches. Okay, oh. between the brake lever, the brake pedal, and this. So this is actually two and a half inches farther over. Further over. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that'd be so, a problem. Yep. But they could they could have fixed that too by you know putting a rod on this and just bringing it over the way we do. Uh, but the, his biggest complaint was when you push on this pedal, it takes zero effort. Yeah. Okay? And there's a ton of travel. That's a ton of travel, okay? Okay. So we're gonna get rid of that, and then he'll actually feel like he's pushing on something when you push on one of these. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff that we're not gonna use, okay? Okay. That was just for show, you know, just example. Demonstration. And this one, you know, we, we don't need to mess with that anymore. It won't get used anymore. Yep. Okay. So uh, we've shown you before, uh, the plates that we make, okay? Uh, this is an adapter plate that's gonna bolt right through the uh, firewall, and then the new pedal is going to bolt right to the plate, okay? Yep. Uh, 5 16 uh, grade 8 bolts. I run three through those, a nut on each side, two, those two through there, a nut on each side, and then I tack weld them uh, in place, okay? So you don't have to tack weld them if you don't have a welder. You could just uh, red Loctite them or whatever. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the original firewall. We're gonna drill those holes out to 5 16 So these will fit through them okay. Okay. And then we'll bolt this plate into the firewall. Sweet. All right. Then on these new, on these new pedals that you're gonna put on there, you gotta go and you, these were um, a 10 millimeter yeah. Or like they're eight millimeter bolts, but um, ten millimeter wrench on them. Yep. So you gotta make those holes a bit bigger, okay? And it will go in and uh, just bolt directly to that plate. Then, okay? Sweet. Uh, two nuts and two lock washers. So let's put this in. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go make the holes five sixteenths. We'll shove this through the firewall. You can hold it on the inside and I'll put a uh, nut and washer on the front side. Cool. Careful how far you drill in because you don't want to drill into the motor. Yeah. See now, and then two. All right, it's got 
it's got this insulated pad, all right? Oh, yeah. So those uh, 5 16 nuts, they kind of take up that space when they fit there on the firewall. So that plate kind of fits up just flush to that pad. Sweet. All right. Yep. Okay, so we take our new plate and there we go. Okay. So I go to the outside then. It pretty much holds itself there. And I'll go to the outside and I'll put a flat washer, a lock nut, or a lock washer, and a nut on it, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so the plate's installed. So we're going to take this thing and put it in there. We haven't messed around with it at all, but let's see where it sits. Yep. Okay. Cool. Take See how much we got to move it. I'll meet you in. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. It just so happens on these things, there is a void right there for, for these pedals to fit in. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. What's it hitting on? Oh, it's hitting the radio. No. I can't get my poof in here to see it. We're going to have to take the radio out of this truck. <laughs> uh, Good grief. I mean, can't he just listen to his phone? Yeah. All right. So, whereabouts does it hit it? Um, right on the top? Yeah. Okay. So, that's a new problem we've never run into. Uh, okay. All right, so uh, we ran into a little problem and it's hitting right there. It's stopping this thing from lifting up. So we're going to get rid of the adjustable portion on this. And we're just, we're going to basically uh, cut that off right there. And uh, then we'll, we'll do our rod from here over. It won't be adjustable anymore, but uh, that'll be our fix for doing that, okay? Yep. Yep. So. That'll move it, move it over to the left even further too. Yeah. So it'll yeah. work work out. Yep. That's a bummer that it won't be adjustable anymore. But things like that happen. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta figure out how to get past those little problems. Yeah. Uh, gotta have a radio, man. Because I'm sure he doesn't want to buy a different radio for it. <laughs> You know? No, no, it's pretty so. sweet. But we have put these in in trucks that just have like a normal Kenwood, whatever, yeah. normal size stereo, and it doesn't interfere with them. Okay. Yep. So, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're just gonna alter this a little bit. Okay. Yeah. One other good use for a vice grip? Yes. Okay, so we know that that was, you know, hor um, horizontal. Yeah. Right, yeah. to that. So that, that would have been where, where it was. So basically we're gonna go mount this and see how far our pedal is away from it. Okay. Oh. Definitely fits now. All right. Okay. And we are going to end up wanting our pedal about two inches over, right? So it lands right about there. Oh yeah, that's gonna work perfect. Okay. 
Yeah, I think cutting it like that might actually make it easier to... I think it's going to be even nicer than what we initially planned. Yeah. Cut. So. All right. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, a half inch piece of rod in that hole. Okay. Okay. So the hole's already started. So good place to start. So we got to make that hole a little bigger. Can we drill a hole with a bent drill bit? Is it, is it egg shaped then when you're done? Oh, probably. Juice, what are you doing? You stay out of that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> hey. Juice. Don't you dare. Don't get in there. All right. All right. So here's our next problem. When we put this thing in there, we do not want to cover this up so you can't replace the sensor because oh, okay. this, this has to come out and lift up about an inch maybe. Mm. and go out so when we do the pedal we'll at least want to make the pedal uh, not block the what do you call it sensor uh, sensor yeah yeah so if it needs any more adjustment we'll go underneath the switch or underneath the sensor and we'll cut it and bend it oh i see and then we'll fill it in yep. all right so let's get a rod for this thing we know we can go ahead and just cut a rod maybe an extra inch long and then we'll weld we'll weld the rod to that and then we'll go down and get our pedal works we need it to be on that rod okay okay does that make sense makes sense to me you you're rearing up to do some welding Ooh, sure slide in there very well. Ooh, there you there go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Fits in this side tight, which is what we want for welding it up. Okay. Look all right? Yeah. yeah. See, I'm gonna have the welding team uh, weld that up then, okay? Okay. All right, so while the welding team does that, I will work on this one. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Emily's got that thing welded up. Uh, we're gonna take and throw it in the truck. And we're gonna slide this over it, okay? And kind of see where it's at in the truck, okay? Uh, so let's go do that. See how it goes. So. I'm just gonna hold it in its spot right there. Pedal over it. And 
All right, so right there, it almost, it's almost perfect. You know, yeah. just, just hanging there. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this thing doesn't have that much throw in it, but so we're gonna have to come in here. We'll measure where that sits. Uh, we'll mark it on the shaft in here and we'll just have it slid over far enough on this bar that that sensor can be replaced. Okay. Okay. I want it to go all the way against the floor. So I'm gonna take a chisel and I'm gonna wedge the uh, accelerator pedal to its stop down there. Okay. okay. All right, so right there would be where it's full throttle. Okay. Put one nut on it to hold it in place. And then, like I said, stock, they're two inches over. Two inches over from the corner of that pedal. And this guy is pretty big. Yeah, he's pretty tall. He's tall, so I'm gonna go two and a half over. So right there. Make a mark there and there. Make sense? Yep. All right, so what we'll do then is we'll put a decent tack on it and we'll bring it back in and hold it where we think it should go and finish welding it. Okay. So we paint marked it up pretty good. Um, I'm just going to put a tack on it. So I'm gonna put my chisel back in it, okay? Okay. So hold it open. And set her back in. So that's that's as low as it would be there. Right? Yep. yep. And that's as high as it would be. Definitely tell just pushing on it with your hand, it's got more tension than the other one. Oh, yeah. Ah, it could go a little bit more. I think I might put it down a little bit more. Okay. Uh, it's definitely, that's two and a half inches. So, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right, I wanted a little bit more towards the firewall. I'll make myself a line and we will uh, basically i'll just cut that weld mm. and then i'll move it down uh probably about to where that lines up okay and then it'll be good So that's uh, pedal all the way to the floor. Okay? Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's call that good. Let's weld it, let's weld it all up and clean it up. Okay. And I'm happy with where the pedal's at. Yep. We'll bolt it in and then I can step on it, you know. Yeah. And really get a feel for it. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so after going back and forth to the truck five or ten times, uh -huh. right? Uh, I finally got my little tack weld right where I liked it there. Enough distance between the, this arm and uh, the sensor okay. that we can replace that. And this one does need to be replaced, so uh, we'll make sure that that can happen. Okay. So what we'll do at this point, we'll 
uh, finish welding it up, or that's welded on that side, but we'll weld this arm up nice. Uh, we'll cut the excess um, half inch rod off and put a nice weld on it, make sure it's solid, and we'll clean it up and call this one good. Okay. Okay? Cool. So you gonna weld it up for me? Sure. All right, I'll take a break. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. So I guess it, the height of, height of that there. Yeah, we had a lot to spare. Sweet. Could have went a bunch more, but we didn't need to. Because where it's sitting right now, it seems like it's, well, it's a little further to the right than the stock. Yeah. Pedal. Yep. Okay. But I factored in for big feet. Mm -hmm. All right. So if it fits okay, this will be the last time that I got to set it in it. Flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Yep. Yep. Alright. How's that look to you? That's pretty sweet. Alright, let me give it the feel test, okay? Alright. Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, right, that's perfect. Sweet. Um, like I said, I didn't. I could have went further over a little bit, but and I have big feet too, size 12s, and I can lift my foot off the brake pad and hit the or on the off the accelerator hit the brake and I yeah. catch my foot on it. Yeah. So sweet. I think he's gonna like this. Yeah. Alright, so now I gotta fix that electrical connector and we're all done on the accelerator pedal. Okie dokie. Alright, the diesel one. It was just a matter of switching uh the gray wire and that brown wire around. Okay? Okay. So we just got to put them back the way they were. Take the center piece out. Uh, with that out, you stick your st stick a little pick right in that tiny little hole and lift up a little keeper. And see if it'll come out. Somebody's been poking around in that wire. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a brown one. So brown will go to that side. Okay. 
move this one over. Gray one. So there. Wrap. Okay, so that's the way a 2004 Chevy truck would be. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Put a little keeper thingy back in. Look good? Sweet. So. Now. This guy did not give much length. Alright, the wires are not touching there. The safety clip back in it. Okay. There's a bundle of wires back here that I'll zip tie it to. Okay. So it doesn't come anywhere near the pedal. Okay. Okay. But looks pretty good, right? And also make sure it doesn't go anywhere near your brake pedal moving. Yeah. Okay. Should we see if it works? Sure. Okay, you ready? Sure. Okay, here we go. So this one, it kind of, the radio in this truck kind of threw us for a loop. A little bit. So um, we ended up uh, doing it this way instead, which we showed you, but I actually kind of like it this way. It takes up a lot less space. Uh, if you were uh, doing it where you didn't have a welder and you wanted to do it with a ready rod to make it adjustable and tighten it up and then have it welded somewhere. But that would work also in this case, okay? So to date, uh, every truck that we've done has one of these pedals, uh, this style of pedal in it, altered in some way. Yep. And everybody loves them, okay? So that's why we use them. Uh, you want to tell them about this pedal? Sure. This pedal, uh, we are going to give this pedal away. We are coming up on 10,000 subscribers and we've done a live stream in the past and we're gonna do another one when we hit 10,000. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and if you wanna be in the drawing for this pedal, head on down to the comments and tell us about your project. We're gonna put everybody's name in a hat and draw a winner on our live stream when we hit 10,000 subscribers. So. That's pretty nice, I think. <laughs> it's a $200 gas pedal and we will put a new sensor in it also. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put a new sensor on it and clean it up a little bit. Yeah, it will come with the plate and everything. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, and I'm just saying too, we may have made some extra plates today, so. We might have. If anybody knows <laughs> our channel, I'm just saying. Okay? Yep. Whoops. So as always, we hope this video helps you out. We appreciate you watching. If you have any more questions or anything to add, let us know in the comments and we will catch you next time.